Oh, not this fucking violin again. In a patriarchal society, women are supposed to quietly submit to oppression. That's their role. Okay, Zana, that's cool. Now tell us about the real world. We're supposed to accept crass jokes, innuendos, lewd gestures, physical intimidation, sexual assault, rape, and murder. How can you accept murder? Like, you're either murdered or you're not. There's no accepting it, is there? It just kind of happens. Everyone knows that. What a lot of people don't know is that some women who've been forced to fill this role their whole lives can feel outraged when another woman refuses to play the part. It's called... Oh, oh, uh, I know this one. Um, uh, uh, intersectional fucking... Internalized oppression. Ah, internalized oppression, that was it. I've dealt with all the insults without making scenes. Oh, what the fuck was that? She's so entitled, she expects to be safe all the time. Yes, very good, Asian mouth. When I refuse to be silent, and I raise my voice, and I demand safety, it makes some women angry and afraid. Some women? Zana, my mum wants to punch you. A woman who dares to speak out in this culture of silence is a shock. Women like you make us all look bad. Oh, fucking hell, where are you finding these mouths? You're making women unsafe. Women have spent their whole lives worrying about what men think. And of course, by that, you mean you have spent your whole life worrying what men think. You can't speak on behalf of everyone just because you got a vagine, you know. They're so used to being afraid. What happened to you wasn't even that bad. Wasn't even that bad. Nothing happened to you, Zana. You created a ruckus and you got in trouble and now you're pissed off about it. How dare you trivialize sexual harassment like this? It's called internalized oppression. Yeah, ugly mouth. Didn't you listen when she said it the first time? Fucking hell. Instead of protecting each other, the sisterhood is fractured, divided, leaving us isolated and afraid. What sisterhood, Zana? It's not like the moment you're expelled from the womb where you're given a fucking girl's card and told you love Ultimate and Ugg boots now. What fucking sisterhood? Queer and transgender people are even more isolated. None of us can be safe in such a culture. You can't speak on behalf of queer and transgender people, Zana. Your vagina doesn't give you that right. I agree with the men. That wasn't sexual harassment. You overreacted. I do appreciate what you're saying, old Asian mouth, but it's not just men that are saying she's wrong. It's fucking everyone. Of course there are men denying that I was sexually harassed. They have to deny it, because otherwise they would have to admit that they've been sexually harassing women their entire lives. Our whole lives. Fuck me, Zana, you are a microaggression away from saying breastfeeding is sexual harassment. And there are women who are denying it, because otherwise they would have to admit that they've been sexually harassed. And there are women who won't admit it even to themselves that they've been sexually harassed, assaulted, even raped. The trauma goes that deep. So if everyone is denying it but you, then surely there's a chance that you might be wrong about this, Zana. I would mention Occam's razor to you, but you'd probably accuse me of coming at you with a knife. It's called internalized oppression. Yes, we know you call it internalized oppression, but saying it three times doesn't make it true. Why didn't you just let it go? You were so hostile to him. Why did you escalate the situation? Just saying, Asian mouth has got some good things to say. In a patriarchal society, women are always considered to be the problem. So even when she defends herself, she's seen as the aggressor. You were the aggressor, Zana. He was trying to walk away. You were the aggressor. You're not the victim. The man who sexually harassed me, he was hostile. Oh yeah, look at him just mumbling his dad joke. He's so fucking hostile, he should definitely be locked away. Sexual harassment is hostile. He escalated the situation when he repeated his sexually harassing words. All right then, bitch, try this one on for size. He said humongous, you said humongous what? And you would not stop saying humongous what? You kept on trying to make it about his dick. That is sexual harassment. The security guards escalated the situation when they criminalized me. Bitch, you did that yourself. The cops escalated the situation when they attempted to intimidate me. So you weren't trying to intimidate anyone when you kept screaming, this man just sexually harassed me. Fuck you, Zana. I can only assume that mark on your forehead is from the surgery where they removed your frontal lobe. The news station escalated the situation when they posted the video with sexist dismissive commentary. The oh, so anything that challenges you is dismissive. 
The main difference between what you're doing and that article is that that article isn't making you any money. Cyber stalkers escalated the situation when they sent me violent messages and sexual threats. And in the words of the great philosopher Jamie Vardy, chat shit get banged. It's your fault you've been threatened with violence. The police would have helped you if you'd just been nice to them. Yeah, no, they would have actually been more helpful if you'd have been nicer. The fact is, you were being a cunt. And the moment they walked into that situation, they could tell who the cunt was. It was you, Zana. You're the cunt. Many cops are ex-military. Eight out of every ten women in the military experiences rape and or sexual assault while serving. It's officially called unwanted sexual contact to protect the men who perpetrate these crimes. Well, no, if it's considered a crime, then the perpetrator is definitely not protected, you fucking nonce. And those same men go into our police forces. That's why Blue Lives Matter have been posting hate videos about me, ensuring that rapists and stalkers target me. The cops are the very perpetrators of rape culture. So would it have somehow been less oppressive if it was female officers that told you to shut the fuck up instead? Would that have been better for you, Zana? Would you have listened to them then? But women have been indoctrinated into thinking that the police are there to protect them. The truth is, the cops are twice as likely to commit domestic violence against their partners. So that includes female officers too, yeah? Were they taught at a young age to beat men, Zana? Be nice and stay quiet. That's how we women stay safe. Women are never safe in a rape culture. The only rape culture we actually have in the West is that some women think they have the right to falsely accuse people of rape. That's rape culture, motherfucker. Particularly when we reward our sexual harassers by being nice to them. Yeah, you're right, Zana. I don't know why people are still being nice to you considering you sexually harassed someone. But victim blaming is a key component of internalized oppression. It's because people blame themselves when they're abused. They feel ashamed. So when they see others being abused, they blame those others too. Zana, no one is blaming you because you are the victim. People are blaming you because you are at fault. They ask, what were you wearing? What were you doing? What were you saying? Instead of asking, who was he? How did he get away with it? How do we stop him? I know, it's, it's so fucked up, isn't it? It's almost like you're innocent until proven guilty and someone cannot be taken on their word because someone lies. You were wearing ethnic clothes, dear. You were asking for attention. Oh, fucking ethnic clothes. Put it back in the deck, Zana. This isn't about ethnicity. This is about you being a dickhead. And as for asking for attention, yes, you were. That was the whole fucking point you were there. That was the whole reason for you filming him. You loved it. Women of colour suffer the most from rape and sexual assault. Men target us because they know we have no power. They know the system won't protect us. That's called white supremacy. Whoa, whoa, you just said men. Now it's white supremacy? Fucking hell, it's all about race with you, isn't it? That's called white patriarchy. But the white women tell us that the way to deal with it isn't to stop men from targeting us. It's to hide our own bodies and our identities while trying to be white. What woman? is hiding her body. What woman? I go out onto the street and I don't see a sea of fucking burkas, Zana. That's even more white supremacy. Just shut up, okay? You're acting like a crazy woman when all he did was tell a joke. Thank you. The word crazy is used to marginalize anyone the patriarchal power structure wants to shut up. No, it's not, Zana. It's a word used to describe someone who is not sane. When people are saying you're crazy, it's not an insult, it's a fucking description. Not only are women and people of colour marginalised this way, but people with mental disabilities too. It's called ableism. In which case, Zana, colour me ableist because you are a fucking retard. And by the way, crazy isn't a mental condition. It doesn't actually mean anything, except that someone is trying to silence you. Fuck me, if only it worked. It's a type of turn policing, and turn policing is what happens when those in power can't argue with what you say, so they argue with how you say it. What well, fucking good! Good! The way you use some terms need fucking policing! It's a tactic used primarily with women and people of colour. You're so angry, you're so crazy, you're hysterical, you're irrational, you're raising your voice. All of which are more commonly known as overreacting, Zana. That's tone policing. You need to stop talking. Women are too emotional to talk rationally about anything. No, no, my man. This woman. And this woman alone. Bitch. Animal. 
boy, ape. That's how the white supremacist patriarchy has referred to men of colour for hundreds of years. Yes, which is fucking terrible, but thankfully, since those hundreds of years have passed, those people are dead now, and thankfully the racism has died with them, but you are keeping it alive, aren't you, Zana? They were kept as slaves, as objects, as entertainment. Men of colour were never allowed to be men. But you just said men of colour. This historical emasculation has led to some men of colour affirming their manhood by abusing women. Alright, okay, that's a bit of a long shot, but let's just entertain the thought that that might be true. Most, if not all, of these people are now dead. It's their attempt to have power like the white man. But the white supremacist patriarchy will never let them into that boys club. Again, what boys club are you talking about? There's no conspiracy here, Zana. It's not like when I was born, the patriarchy came along, handed me a monthly pay packet and then implied beating women was okay. It just didn't happen. That's why black men get shot in the streets. That's why brown men get profiled as drug dealers and terrorists. Oh, come on, Zana. No one was going to gun you down and no one was profiling you. It's them sectioning you you should have been worried about. As far as the white supremacist patriarchy is concerned, people of colour are animals to be used up and thrown away. What, like a, a Capri son? What do you mean? Men of colour are kept down with prisons, detention facilities, deportations, wars and death. Okay, prisons, criminals go to prisons, Zana. It's not like a summer camp for black people. So when men of colour go after me, sexually harass me, stalk me, they're aiding and abetting the white supremacist empire and they don't even know it. Fine, that's fine. And when one of those things actually happens to you, Zana, we will listen. But until then, shut up. The man who sexually harassed me at City Hall was a man of colour. Two things there, Zana. Firstly, you claim all men beat women, so surely the colour of his skin isn't important. And secondly, you were not sexually harassed. The security guards who criminalised me were men of colour. What do you mean were? Have you killed them, Zana? Many of the people attacking me online are men of colour. Well, of course, Zana. It's the internet. It's people from all around the world. Now, shouldn't that tell you something, Zana? That people from all around the world think you're fucking crazy. Shouldn't that tell you something, Zana? It's called internalised oppression. Oh, you had to get one more in, didn't you? Fucking hell, you sly old dog, Zana. Are you getting paid a dollar every time you say it? You are, aren't you? You love that money, Zana. I'll tell you who's profiting off of white patriarchy. It's you, Zana. You're the one making profit. My brothers and sisters and queer and trans siblings, let us come together to heal, to grieve, to build transformative justice. If we don't help each other now, the white supremacist patriarchy will continue to keep us down. Oh, shut the fuck up. Look, even the people stood behind you can't fucking face you. Shut up. So let us come together to stand against oppression. You just triggered everyone in a wheelchair. Let us come together to end rape culture. Where the fuck did rape culture come from? I thought this was about internalised oppression. Zana, you could have said it once more. Come on. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Fuck it. Oh, I, I mean, fuck it. That wasn't exactly a masterpiece, Zana. But what the fuck were you smoking when you thought, hey, let's let's do that at the end? Fuck it. <laughs> you, you are so fake. And if you too have ever been a victim of the patriarchy, make sure you check out Kind Heathen's channel. He's funny as fuck and he has the drunken uncle stamp of approval. Link in the description. And if you can remember to please repress your urges to beat any woman you see, that'd be great.